Welcome back to Bump Love, Dad Edition, aka Baby Daddy, and we are excited to, we are honored to have the best of the best of the dads with us to discuss a very, very exciting topic. Um, today we have with us uh, Mr. Ronnie Abasa. He is a team building coach, a media and radio personality. Super. Welcome to the show. Thank Ronnie. you. Pleasure is all mine. Yeah. And with us also we have Dr. Joseph Walusimbi. He's a married man, <laughs> father of a sizable number of teenagers. He is a business and person, personal development coach, yes. is it? Yes. And very passionate and enthusiastic about health and fitness. Yeah. <laughs> He's a married man. Yeah. And then we... <laughs> and with us also today on the set is Mr. Andrew Chamagero. We've had him here before. Really glad to have you again. He's a news anchor on NTV. Most of us know him as Omuntu Wawansi. Omuntu Wawansi, yes? Pan-African man. And he's a father of two. Welcome to the show. Great to Welcome here, here. Welcome to the show. We are always happy to have you and have a man's, a father's perspective. You know, yeah. our show is mainly motherhood, let's yeah, say, but okay. parenting is p mothers and fathers, isn't it? Yeah. So we're really glad to have you to right. get a, a, you know, a different take on things. Yeah. So last year, about last year, mm. um, the Daily Monitor published an article about a father living in the diaspora who developed an app that was meant to help teach his children uh, their mother tongue and their heritage. And I would like to quote what that article said. Children spend most of their times or their waking hours at school where English is the mode of communication. The stories they like on TV are all in English. Their parents, who is their only connection to their mother tongue, arrive home late in the evening and they're sleepy and tired. As a result, children grow up without learning a language that is crucial to their identity. So this is not something that's isolate, that's just for people abroad. Yeah. We are also, many parents are having the same predicament yeah. even in our own countries, like in Uganda today. Yeah. So today on the show, we are discussing, <coughs> teaching our children their mother tongue and their culture. Let's start from here. Do you know, are you conversant with your mother tongues and your heritage in terms of descent, clan, okay, so in the past, we're Uganda, so clan, tribe, uh, grandfathers, grandparents, are you conversant with all that enough to be able to, to pass on that mantle to your little well, ones? I, I think uh, I'll go first, because in the Mutua was, we are the biggest voting yeah. block. <laughs> <laughs> the Baganda have, um, should I call it, um, an approach that keeps you in sync with your culture, so they will tell you Tambra and Gomuganda. That alone gives you a sense. As for me, Nze Andrew Chamagero, Ndi Mutabani wa John Seboa Ali Kasoze Chwatule, Ndi Muzukuru wa John Temanju Agalami De Mukono Chagwe Namurugwe, Ndi Muzukuru wa Ndugwa. Like you, you go in that kind of sink and it gives you a great heritage. You know where you fall. You know what are your duties in your kingdom. I come from the Buganda kingdom, which comes, if I should go back in a 16 AD, it comes from the Mwawa group that was from the Congo. So that's where I come from. So the Buganda approach of Tambla and Gomuganda, it helps you draw the line and you get to know Walusi Mbiye Dira Chino and Zira Tanzira. So that keeps you entrenched. So I think for starters, we as parents of this generation, we need to teach our children to Kutambula as Muganda. That is from the Baganda. In the West, you have your ways of doing your, your stuff. I think it's something that is very definitive. We must emphasize. In my home, you don't greet me in English. You don't. That's for your children. Even my wife. You don't tell me those things of good morning, hun. You come in the bedroom and you say, that's how I emphasize my culture. My son and daughter, they don't call me daddy. They call me tata. It is, it is, it is that standard. I like that. If you're talking to me and Mandela knows Mandela is my son. If he wants to talk to me about something, he sits down and says, 
Tata, ni nache njaga lo kugamba. You don't talk when you just, you, you're standing and you don't do that. I love that. Yes, I even my, my daughter is one month and uh, four months, uh, one year and four months, yeah. but when she's greeting me in the morning, she kneels down and you can tell that she's getting there. The mother she is taking her there. there. So okay. these are definitive uh, gestures as men, as heads of the families, you have yeah. to take lead. Yeah. Okay. So if you're a complacent kind of man and they say, good morning, hungry, these kids grow up like that. They say, even dad didn't pay attention. Why should I pay attention? So me, I'm in tension. The way I'm right. growing my kids and the way my wife runs to it. And she's not from the Baganda clan, but she has adjusted to this. Where because is she that's, from? Uh, my, my, my wife is a half caste. Okay. She's half Moganda, she's half uh, a Mufumbira. Okay. But she has adjusted because that's the husband she goes to. And I've <coughs> tried to learn her culture. Well. Oh, it's complex at times. But um, I am getting there. Okay. I'm learning to eat some of their things. First. You honestly know how they do. Uh, they know. first make you eat uh, these things and then you get there. <laughs> wow. You, you know what? I, 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 I mean, he was saying men who... I think I'm the other kind of man then because the they, they greet me, good morning, honey, oh, uh, no. uh, you know, things like that. Jesus. And, and <laughs> so I don't know if, if, if I'm, you know, uncultured or, yes. but uh, to be sincere, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Muchiga, yeah, okay. uh, from Kavali, uh, I'm, I'm a Muyundo, that's my clan, nice. all right. Uh, but I cannot say confidently, like the Pan Africanist, that you know I was raised uh, in a cultural way. You know uh, the mother tongue. I, I I can honestly say I don't even have a proper grasp of my you know uh, mother tongue. And growing up, uh, while we were still young, we were, we were involved in travel here and there. And as a kid, you get to speak so many languages, so many cultures, and things like that. And 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 I think that affected us in a way. So okay. we, we never really spoke Uchiga all the time. So I speak Uchiga, I understand Uchiga. I've missed so many MC jobs because they want a hard come Uchiga. Oh, yeah. And no. you organic. are eh? organic. Yeah, organic, <laughs> the one who says in the factor, you know, really. So um yeah, so I'm think I think I'm a little bit different in, oh, yeah. in, in that regard. And the truth is, um, growing up, uh, for kids it's easy to learn your mother tongue at, at that stage, you know, but growing up, I, I turned 40 not too long ago, uh, and I feel, in, I missed out, I, oh, yeah. I missed out, I feel like, ah, I should have, I wish I'd been taught, maybe I should have been raised from the village for some, you know, three years and <laughs> get the hardcore organic mochiganess, you know, uh, but then what am I going to do for my kids now, oh, you yes. know, and there's, there's a debate, because I, I was at a seminar and someone was just teaching and saying, you know, we're now in a global village, mm. yeah? Mm. Your kids are now competing on an international platform. Oh, yes. And they say, you know, for example, if you first start by learning Luganda, mm. uh, your kid is going to compete with someone. When the teacher teaches, he has to interpret in Luganda, translate to English, oh, yes. respond in Luganda in the head, then give the answer Processing. in English. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are, you know, some 45 something seconds there, actually, behind. Quite the contrary, <laughs> research has been shown yeah. that yeah. children who actually study, who learn yeah. their mother tongues tongue. fast. fast. We think that that's how the brain processes mm -hmm. things, not so much. Research has actually shown that children might struggle at the onset, yeah. but after a certain point A, where it's actually deemed necessary, mm -hmm. they have, they, it's what, I don't know how, we I'm not a scientist. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps, yeah, yeah. So I've, I've been told it. that you, mm. it, I've, so maybe you can help us, because I've been told that children who learn their mother tongues fast actually get brighter as they go as they as they grow older. I don't know how true that is. Okay, in my view, not necessarily yeah. because um, there are some people that I know that have been raised that way, yeah. but it hasn't been shown that that's how they become. Yeah. I think it's really to do with a lot of other factors. Okay. Let's not look at it I in isolation. Yeah. Oh, yes. Here, yeah. we also need to look at other factors. Maybe the people around them, the schools that they go to. Let me give you an example. Um, I grew up in an urban setting. Mm -hmm. I went to public schools, yeah. but I can tell you that. To get a grasp of my culture, my language, I'm a Muganda. Mm -hmm. To understand Luganda fully, it took, I think I started understanding when I was around 16 years old. My siblings used to tease me. Yeah. Wow. And I say, oh, look at this one, it doesn't even know this one. And it actually used to torment me. Yeah. Because yeah. I kind of started to look at Luganda like, okay, um, if, if people are ridiculing me mm. in this way, then I, I'm feeling bad about it. Maybe I should actually be defiant. Yeah. But it is when I went to secondary school yes. that um, the schools there were actually laser fair. They were not mm. restrictive on, oh, you should only be speaking English, oh, yes. which, which unfortunately was the case yeah. in my primary school. Well, in primary school, I, I was actually speaking. punished for, for speaking, speaking vernacular. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
Yes, I was punished for uh, speaking vernacular, and all those things took a toll on me. Mm. So it is only when I went to these secondary schools and I, you know, I had all these colleagues, but from different ethnic settings, that I started to appreciate culture. Yeah. Mm. You know, mm. and it is on. Uh, it is at the. But I was bright. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, 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 I'm not like bragging, <laughs> bragging and the all man that. Was but I even became a doctor. <laughs> oh, oh. Partly oh. that. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. But but also the other thing is that. The, in, the, what I was affected with, I had many friends from different parts of the country okay. and also outside Uganda. And so I was hit with all this. I, in secondary school, I was in Busoga. I was in Busoga College, Mweri, then I went to Namasagari. Oh, so, yeah. so yeah. Okay, but I'm in Uganda. Yeah. So I started to pick up a number of uh, parts of languages and cultures. And it is then, when I left school, that when I started to uh, attend the Kwanjula, Kuhinjira, and all that, that I actually now started to get deeper and deeper. Mm. You mentioned that Tambulango Muganda. The mm. first function I went for, luckily I was not at the forefront. I thought they were telling yeah, us, stand up and march <laughs> majestically. <laughs> Tambulango Muganda. Uh, I, I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah. That, that, that's my experience. <laughs> Tambulango oh, Muganda. Yeah. And then I saw the, the spokesman now going through the whole oh, lineage yes. and all that. I was like, ah, mm. now you can imagine I learned that at a later stage. So yeah. it's, it, it's interesting, but to answer your question, yes, I have a good grasp of, of, of my culture and language. Not everything, though. Sometimes I ask myself, why? And it is only recently that it was explained. I say, but why do some people say kakano? Another says kakati. Yes. Other people say enyanya. Mm. Then I say enyinya. I'm like, <laughs> can someone please decide what it is? It was when I was told, no, Kakati, the ones who say Kakano mm. and the Nina are the Banabudu. Yes. Mm? Hey, Masaka. Masaka okay. up to Raka. No, now, for me, I'm from. Hailed from Congo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm from Lu Luero. Mm. Someone said, ah, great. Mm. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. guys, come on. You know? So there's a lot of. That now, my experience shows that there are a lot of people who are actually confused yeah. currently. Yeah. Because in, in, in Uganda, actually, we, Uganda is. Um, there was a lot of assimilation. Oh, yes, mm. yes. So to find a typical, typical, typical Muganda here has to be tall, dark, uh, dark stout with a big nose. Mm. Okay. That is so, so <laughs> 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 But I, I'm, I'm telling you, that's uh, in, in theory. Yeah. So I, I have some friends who fit that mm. in description. Say, go the typical. Yeah, 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 Muganda. So a real one. Oh, then uh, yeah, others, yeah. they say, ah, go tell you, you know. Mm. Yeah. You know, but you um, know, may, maybe just to add something small, and I hope I don't change the flow of direction at all. Um, <clears throat> you talked about age 16 being teased by you know siblings and, yeah. and classmates and all of that i i think i still suffer some of that um or it's not bullying or pressure or regret you know mm -hmm. when uh, you're an old man uh, you go to meet the aunties uncles deep down and you know when they engage you know uh, at yeah. a deeper level uh, you can only go thus far and and you can't help but feel uh, short, you know. Yeah. Now nah, you see these ones here, you know. Uh, as an MC, sometimes I'll, I'll say, okay, yeah, there's this wedding. Uh, can you MC? Yeah. Uh, they have a Ganda and what? Uh, you just speak little Uganda. You reach there, the katikiro is there, the what oh, is yeah. there. Then, hey, <laughs> as soon as you give your first sentence, you know, messages come. Oh, I MC or foot foot. Not wait a day. Oh, you know, so I, I, that's, that's the disadvantage on my part that I feel. Um, I'm not as confident in that area and I don't want the same repeated for my kids, you know? So uh, the question is what then do we do to make exactly. sure uh, yeah. that story changes?